I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Briarwood Christian School. Joined again by head football coach, Coach Matthew Forrester. And Coach, um, you guys got some really good news this week. You got a win, add it back to your record. You know, it's a game that, you know, a lot of coaches are going to say, well, the game happened, we saw the results. But it is on your record now. You do get that win. That's your first career win, basically, as a head coach. Probably not the way you envisioned it happened, yeah. but, you know, you do get it. You're five and one now. And, uh, you know, early in the year, I think that a lot of people were surprised by losing the first two games mm -hmm. of the season, but you guys really turned it around. You're playing great football. What's been the key? Um, I think, you know, early in the season, it was all we're getting used to everything, uh, putting in a new offensive system. There were some hiccups along the way, uh, but it's been a testament to the coaching staff, uh, to Coach Curley, Coach Matthews, uh, the assistant coaches on the offensive side of the ball that have just done a great job of honing in. Uh, figuring out uh, a few key things uh, and they've done a great job of just really getting us clicking so that we're moving uh, in the right direction uh, we're improving each week and I mean, that's what you want to see our goal is to be the best team we can be and uh, we, we've really done that over the last six weeks is where we've seen steady improvement in every area of the game and that's one of the things we want to happen you know, Luke talked about the Pleasant Grove game. He feels like that's when, even though you guys lost, that's when people kind of started really figuring things out. When do you feel like people really started figuring things out? I mean, that, that was a pivotal moment for our offense where they were able to just uh, start getting on the same page. I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing to watch an offensive line all take the right steps, to all be stepping in the right direction. And really in that game, you saw five linemen moving as one. I mean, it, it was a really neat thing to see. Um, and Pleasant Grove's a great team. They're really good. So for us, um, while we didn't have the outcome we wanted, uh, we did see uh, some great uh, strides taken in that game. And we look uh, forward. I mean, one of the things after the game is we hope to be able to play them again because we think they'll be a team that'll be deep in the playoff picture. And uh, we, we'd love to be able to match up with them again just because I, I think they're one of those teams that's last four left, last two left kind of team. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where we're heading, and um, but I do think that was just where everything started to click, and then we come out the next week against a, a tough Winona team, and man, we were uh, doing what we needed to do that night. You know, uh, last time I talked to you, you had not gotten to coach a game yet. So now mm -hmm. that you've gone through half of a season, basically, and gotten to see what it's like for a head mm -hmm. coach now to go through the middle of the year, what's been different for you now, you know, taking over? Yeah, I mean, you know, normally it's it's do the job you're called to do, and mine was focus on the defense for the last eight years, and that's all I really done. All I'd really done. Um, it wasn't my place to make the decisions. Do we go for it? Do we kick it? Stuff like that. Um, and it was, but now it's the whole team. It's managing every part of the game, um, and so that that's been one of the things that's just um, been different. Is I, I normally never watch an offensive snap during yeah. um, one of our games it, the previous years. But now watching the offense, pay attention to that. Uh, it's been fun. It's been enjoyable. Uh, it's been great to watch our offense coaches come up with a game plan and then watch the boys go out and execute it so well on Friday nights. And again, that's something I've never really been able to enjoy or haven't been able to watch just because focused on my side of the ball. But that's been a neat experience for me. How much do you still have your hand in the defense and what goes on on that side of the ball? Yeah, I mean, that's it's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, about, I don't know, five or six years ago, there was a point where it's like, why am I even a defensive coordinator? I mean, you know, in this pass-happy RPO world, uh, it's really difficult uh, to defend this stuff. But then at some point it was, let's buckle down, let's figure out how to stop this, and let's have a blast doing it. So, I mean, one of my favorite things is coaching defense is doing the schemes and stuff like that. Uh, so I really enjoy that side of the ball. It's where I feel at home. Um, and so I, I, I love having coaches that I can trust on the offensive side of the ball that allow me to really hone in and do what I enjoy. So that, that's been a big plus for me. How much has it helped you making the move at a place where you were already at for a good period of time? I mean, I, I think that's been one of the things. You know, anytime there's change, change can be difficult. Um, and we've done a lot. Our athletic director, Coach Matthews, has been uh, great to help uh, not only with football, but with all our sports, uh, pushing them, um, getting new facilities, new weight room. I mean, you know, one of the things I love about this weight room is it says Lions Athletics over mm -hmm. everywhere uh, because it's not a football weight room, it's for all sports. And so I think the push over uh, these last six months has been great for the whole athletic department. And 
because there's been so much change, the renovations and things like that, it's, it's made it a little bit easier having been here and changing a good bit of stuff. Having gone to school here, did you ever imagine that it would ever look like it is now? No, I mean, when I was here, uh, our weight room was on the third floor. Um, you, you'd lift, you'd do power clings, and they'd hit the ground, and um, I think papers next door would shake. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden to have this new facility, this facility was built in 04, I think was the first year was open, and then to get a major renovation 15 years later, uh, it's really been a neat thing uh, just to watch uh, Coach Yancey, we had his celebration last Friday night, and it was neat to have all the former players come back and they got a sneak peek to see how stuff has changed and the stories they told. And um, it, it was funny to see their eyes like, wow, this is, this is big. And they're, they're really appreciative of it. Um, and it's fun to see guys that laid the foundation uh, to this program be able to come back and see uh, where it's been built to now. What's that like for you on a Friday night? Because obviously you probably want to see some teammates that you had and you want to hang out with them, hang out with Coach Yancey, yeah. but you're also getting ready for a game. And so, I mean, what's that like for you as a coach on a Friday night? Yeah, it's uh, like we, we love having former players come back. I think that's one of the things Coach Yancey did so well is have all the players come back. And so uh, the fact that we'll have guys, you know, one, one week uh, we'll have a guy from the 96 team and then you'll have somebody from the early 2000s and then you'll have – uh, one of the from the last three or four years and so I mean just reconnecting on the sidelines with those guys is always a neat experience it's fun to hey he played the same position as you uh, just 15 years later and let them reconnect and tell stories um, it, it, it's really neat to be able to have the alumni support that we do how many of them are interested in coming back giving back to the program it's a neat thing what have you liked about this team so far this year uh, th I mean this team is a uh, let, let's put our nose to the grindstone, let's work hard. Um, we are, they're, they're a team that's willing to do the nitty gritty work. Uh, they're, they're a team that's willing to sacrifice, um, to put their personal desires uh, uh, below what the team needs. And so that's been really neat to see the guys that say, hey, whatever the team needs, I'm happy to do. You know, on the field, what, what do you like about, you know, uh, Luke brought up the run game. He, said mm -hmm. he feels like y'all can run it pretty much on anybody. And so what, what on the field offensively and defensively do you like about this group? Um, I, do, I do think it's been fun to watch our run game. Um, we've got some offensive linemen. We came into the season with uh, one starter returning on the offensive line. And so to have a bunch of seniors step up, uh, Clayton Rasmussen, Alex Miller, Christian Pearson, those kind of guys to step up, it's their senior year, and they're willing to just uh, hone in on what Coach Curley and the offensive staff want them to do and really uh, strive to be the best offensive line they can be. That's been one of the most exciting things is to see those seniors step up into their time to shine and really do a good job. So I've really enjoyed that on the offensive side of the ball, and it's really the same thing on the defensive side of the ball. We have seniors that are stepping up, that are doing their job, uh, Andrew Jones, as a defensive back, I just had a phenomenal game last week. Uh, really proud of him and how well he's playing. Will Barnes, Chase Travis, a bunch of those guys are really pushing it uh, and being senior leaders. It's exciting to see. And you know, I talked to Luke about during the year. I mean, dealing with the construction and all this. And so now, you know, for you as the coach, now with all this done, where y'all can settle and focus, how much do you think that will help this group? I think it'll help. I mean, you know, we started a new routine. Even the way we practice this year has been different. But as you get to game five, game six, you start settling into that. And now the construction's done. And so you're settling into your new, new places and stuff like that. So I think it'll be beneficial for the guys. I think it'll be good for them uh, just to kind of get, but they, they have an overarching idea of what the program and what each week's gonna look like. And then now uh, their habitat's kind of finished. And so now they can kind of hang out and they know where they're going. They know their roles, they know their jobs. You know, this is a group made third round a year ago and, and you can't replace experience. Mm -hmm. So having a group now that has experienced that, mm -hmm. can you see it with this group that they have experienced some of these tough games in the playoffs? They do. I mean, that's one of the things you look for is you look for those moments during the season where you can say this is a playoff type atmosphere. So you can kind of prepare them for what the playoffs will be like. And so they, they've seen it. Um, some of them have played in it. Uh, but then we've had some tough matchups that have allowed us to get a sneak peek into what the playoffs are like. Um, I mean, it's, it's one of the great things is having a playoff system. 
uh, you can pick out those early games that this, this is going to feel like a playoff game. How big are those for, for a group to play in, you know, before the playoffs come and to, to get that? Because not every team does. No. I mean, you do have teams around the state, they never really get a tough game mm -hmm. during the year. And so for you guys to have those experiences during the year, how much does that pay off later on? Yeah, that's one of the great things Coach Yancey's always done is he's wanted to make sure there's some hard teams on our schedule um, so that we can get that grind. We can see potential deficiencies in our team. We can learn how to make up for them and things like that. So it's. It's a great experience where, we're, you know, it's hard for anybody in the state to go 10-0. and 0. Um, But it, it's hard for us, too, because uh, it's always had a challenging schedule with it. So um, that's one of the things. It's, it's not necessarily about our wins and losses. It's about being the best we can be. And so these challenging games early in the year allow that to happen. You guys are right there in the driver's seat of being able to win a region championship. I mean, you have that opportunity there in front of you. How important would that be to be able to win a region championship and host playoff games here? Yeah, I mean, one of the neat um, things is you love home field advantage in the playoffs. Um, it, it's a special thing. And so I'm, whatever happens in the region, we'll be excited just to be in the playoffs. I mean, you know, the region championship's kind of icing on the cake, but it's we want to get in the playoffs and then we want to try and execute and go as deep as we can. Um, and so it, it's always interesting. High school football, one team's really good one year, they're not as good the next year. Um, and so it's always an interesting to see who we match up in the first round, second round with, because um, the state of Alabama, the football is really good. And so, you know, a first round, a second round, uh, you could be playing one of the top teams in the state just because of the the playoff structure and stuff. So that it's an exciting thing to happen um, and exciting just to make it to that moment. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you uh, taking time to sit down with you. me again. It's good to talk to you again. And uh, you guys playing well right now. I hope you guys can keep it up. And I'm looking forward to seeing how the season shapes out. Thank you so much.